Welcome to Anime No Mato May. Today we bring you the recap of a romance, sci-fi, fantasy, action anime called Highlander. The search for vengeance. But before that, please like, comment, and subscribe the channel to show us some support. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins with a prologue showcasing the death of Colin MacLeod in an ancient battle as well as his funeral. This sudden death is what set in motion his plane of immortality. A subtext explains that it is now the future and that the world has fallen into a state of decay after wars and global warming. The nations have become provinces ruled by kings and demagogues. Life is cheap and death comes easy. For some it concludes on. Holland is then shown cruising down a tranquil river in a motorboat. He approaches a gathering of hideous immortals where he is challenged by a beastly immortal with a chainsaw. After a brutal battle, Colin decapitates the beast very subtly and receives his empowering quickening. Elsewhere in a lavish city that was once New York, a corrupt white-haired lord named Marcus Octavius resides with his mistress. They peer over the balcony and see the quickening take place. The next morning, Colin journeys into the city bringing with him the immortal's head expecting a reward. Colin observes the decadence of the city before going to a bar where we are introduced to Dahlia, a scantily clad woman with short red hair and a cross necklace. She offers to help Colin avoid the guards who are after him. Colin has a memory of his past life in Northern England, 125 AD, when his Germanic tribe was doing battle with the oppressive Romans led by Marcus Octavius. Colin's wife tried to convince Colin to not fight against the Romans knowing that there would be no success. When he refuses, she drugs him and then offers her body to Marcus as a peace offering, which he plans to take once the tribe is destroyed. She then stabs him with a concealed weapon, killing him but inadvertently triggering his plane of immortality. Marcus then crucified Colin's wife and destroyed the tribe, killing everyone except for Colin. Upon awakening from this living nightmare, Colin swore revenge upon Marcus. Coming out of this flashback, Colin and Dahlia meet. Dahlia offers to help him hide out, to which he agrees only when he hears the law enforcement come by. She brings him to a sanctuary where she prays. Holland expresses his disinterest in such Christian beliefs. It is revealed that in 16th century Japan, Marcus had found and resurrected a female warrior, making her immortal, and she is now his mistress and head warrior. Dahlia leads Colin to an underground resistance who struggle to survive against their opposing rulers. Dahlia asks Colin to help her break into the main tower and steal some vaccine to help the resistance. He refuses, but upon seeing an advertisement by the ruler, realizes that it is Marcus and changes his mind. It is revealed that Colin tracked down Marcus after the destruction of his village and challenged him. Marcus won the battle, but Colin escaped by riding upon holy ground. Holland and Dahlia make their way to the base of the tower through the sewers. They steal the vaccine but discover a virus that has been making everyone sick and die, only for the vaccine to be used. They escape after being attacked by a hideous, dinosaur-like creature. It is revealed in another flashback that Colin once more battled Marcus in ancient Rome, in Scotland, only to be defeated once more, where he was killed thus putting in motion his immortality. Holland then battled Marcus again in ancient Japan, and German in World War II, to which he would always be bested by Marcus, who has fully embraced his immortality. Now, Colin once more battles Marcus, but is thrown from a parapet. Dahlia comes across Colin's broken body and is shocked to find it mend itself. She helps Colin escape. They rush back to the rebel base where the rebels decide to fight back against the government upon realizing the virus is what is making everyone sick. Holland sees Dahlia preparing for war and tells her that he wishes to help the resistance fight against Marcus. But no longer in revenge, she expresses her prayers were for Colin to survive his ordeal. The two then make passionate love in the chapel. With her moaning in her first orgasm and him finally finding love after centuries of loneliness. While Dahlia sleeps, Colin locks her door so as to not allow her to join the battle and get killed. The battle commences in the resistance battle against the heavily armed soldiers of Marcus. Colin joins the battle, killing scores upon scores of heavily armed soldiers. He is almost destroyed by Marcus' mistress but is rescued by Dahlia who has escaped her room. 
Talon rushes to Marcus' quarters at the top of his tower. After a tense discussion, Marcus sets the virus in a dispensing machine, giving Colin only two minutes to kill him and stop it. Colin charges him and the two duel with their swords. Marcus easily slashes Colin down but refrains from killing him in order to continuously taunt him. Meanwhile, Marcus' mistress awakens and goes out to join the battle. While battling Marcus, Colin tries to stop the virus but is unable. The virus spills out into the streets. Dahlia is impaled by Marcus' mistress, but stuffs a grenade down her attacker's throat with the last ounce of her strength, killing them both. Marcus sees a vision of Dahlia's death and is filled with new resolution. He fights and this time bests Marcus. There can be only one, he says in defiance and rising strength as he spins around Marcus and swiftly decapitates him. Colin receives Marcus' powerful quickening which spreads out and destroys the virus before it can kill anyone in the streets. The rebels, finally having beat the soldiers, gather and watch the sky turn blue once more now that evil is destroyed once and for all. Colin observes the good he has brought and regrets his entire search for vengeance, now finding redemption within himself. He lights a candle in the chapel in Dahlia's honor, evidently finding his faith once more. He leaves the city walking off into the sunset, finally finding himself at peace. If you liked the video, then please like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. This will help us in bringing you more great content like this.